This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I'm Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Let's Talk with Liz, and of course, I'm Liz. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I have a goodie for us today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, both sexes, if your friend spouse is cheating, do you tell your friend or do you say nothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is something that I, I don't know. I, I think, you know, being that I'm married, I don't want anyone to tell me that my spouse is cheating. I want to catch my spouse in the act myself. I, I rather just catch my spouse myself. And the reason I'm saying this is because you really have to know the motives of people when they come and tell you certain things. Sometimes even your best friends could be very jealous of your relationship. Um, and they could come, come back and tell you something because it's like, oh, you know, she's bragging that he's so good and, or she's so good. And, you know, I love them so much. They're so awesome and so great. And they're painting this great big picture. And, you know, sometimes best friends get jealous, you know, just like associates, you know? Um, and so you, you want to know that, okay, are they coming from a place of, of because I'm your best friend, I really want you to know what's going on um, because I don't want you to be in the dark and it hurt me and I know it will hurt you. Or are they coming from a place of, oh, yeah, well, you know, she or he is braggadocious. So... <laughs> Uh, I just want to bust their bubble, you know, and cause a frenzy. You know, I've always learned that hurt people hurt other people and misery likes company. So um, I guess that's why I wouldn't want my best friend or friends or even associates to come back and tell me uh, if my spouse was cheating. I would definitely want it to be revealed um, by me. Find it out. And usually women, we have very good intuition about, you know, things of that nature. Sometimes we know that our spouses are cheating, uh, boyfriends are cheating, or like I said, girlfriends um, or wives are cheating. And we just let it just, you know, sometimes we, we just let it go on because we don't want to believe that that's what's going on in some instances. And in other instances, um, we just really don't know until we start getting little clues or like I, I always call them the red flags, you know. Um, I think that women are very, very sneaky when it comes down to cheating. Men are very, I think they just, you know, men, they're visual. So if they, even if they're walking with you, sometimes you see them looking at another female or, you know, it's not, it's not like they can look and, you know, <laughs> this is so funny. It's not like they could look and not be noticed. Their looking is noticeable. Uh, whereas a female, you could turn and blink and you've seen, you've seen everything and in you, and you're like, Oh, okay. But men, no, men can't just look at a female. They have to like gawk at a female that is very attractive. And I guess it's okay. Um, not to gawk, but to admire someone else. And the reason I say that is because if you have someone that nobody can look at but you, then Houston, you may have a problem. Uh, <laughs> Um, however, you still have to be respectful. I mean, I don't mind my husband, um, admiring or looking at another female as long as, you know, he isn't, you know, flirting, he isn't cheating or anything of that nature because, uh, yeah, mama Liz don't play that. And, um, you know, uh, now my husband would say, Oh, I don't care if you look at another guy or whatever, you know, and, you know, and stuff. I know you, you, you know, y'all women, y'all do stuff like that. And, uh, even though he says that, we all know that that's a lie, ladies, right? They are very jealous. 
and they do not like you looking at no other man but them. <laughs> so um, my husband is very attractive. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm a little jealous when, you know, females kind of look sometimes, but I'm like, hey, OK, I, I want something that, that people want to look at now. So but don't look too long because you might get your ass uh, b- blocked out. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So anyways, uh, that is my reason. No, I would not want my friends to come back and tell me anything concerning my husband. Um, on the other hand, some people, some friends are like, you know, when you catch their spouses, you see their spouses and this has happened before. Um, you know, I've known people that have seen other people's spouses with other people and, you know, what do you do? Uh, some people don't want you to come back and tell like myself. And then there are other friends. They're like, well, if you see him out there and he's uh, with somebody, um, let me know. Let me know. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I think that that's really a problem. And the reason I say that is because a lot of times people say, let me know. But then when you go and tell them you're made to be like the enemy, oh, she came and told me or he came and told me X, Y and Z. I think guys take it better from other guys opposed to females taking it from other females. Do you all agree with that? I mean, if you do, let me know. Um, I think guys take it better if another guy. I come, you know, his best friend come and say, hey, man, I saw your girl cheating. I mean, I saw your girl with this other guy. You know, they were all, you know, working up on each other. She was, you know, kissing this dude. You know, I think guys take it better when his, uh, you know, they have the bro code. So I think they take it better than a female coming back and saying to her friend, hey, I saw your husband, you you know, he was with this other chick, you know, you know, he, he, I saw him kiss her, you know, they were holding hands, you know, things of that nature. Oh, that was probably his cousin. Oh, that was probably his sister. Oh, that was probably, you know, I think we make excuses, you know, and, and females don't take it as well as, you know, guys when they go back and tell their friends if, you know, I think for women, we, we, we're just the type to say, you know, I don't know, this chick might be, uh, um, <laughs> trying to come through the front door, uh, you know, trying to get my man or something like that. Oh my God, it's so funny. We're, we're, we're a little bit more cautious, you know, when, 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 Females come up and tell us stuff like that. We're a little bit more cautious. We, we're not so quick to say, Oh, he was. Oh, I'm going to get, you know, get into his, you know what, right now. I think females, you know, we like, okay, we get the information. We process the information. And even when we get home, we don't even say anything. A lot of us don't say anything. Now you have some that go and say, Oh, well, um, Shanita saw you with some chick and I want to know, you know, blah, 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 you know. But for the most part, a lot of us, we take that information, we process it, and it's kind of like we become our own private eye. Okay, hmm, I want to catch him myself. I want to catch him in the egg. I know so-and-so said this to me, but I want to catch him in the egg myself. And so we don't say anything. We watch him. We watch him closely. We, 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 we look at what he's doing. Oh, babe, I'm about to go so-and-so and so. so. I'm about to go over here to um, play basketball with the boys. Okay. We're so nice and sweet with it, you know? Okay. And then once he's out the door, then guess what we do? (laughs) We probably already done got it in his phone to be tracked. And we get in our vehicles or we, we, and then not only get in our vehicles, sometimes we don't get in our vehicles. Sometimes we get in somebody else's vehicles. And then we go and we follow him to see exactly where he's going. And if he ain't to that part with his buddies playing basketball and we see him pull up to some female 
and they out to, you know, some little public spot or even to the female house and he's going to pick her up. We want to be the ones to jump out the car and say, oh, so you with your friends, huh? Going to play basketball, huh? Who this boop? You know, you know us, we go off. We, you know, we give it to him. We give it to her and anybody else who want to jump in. <laughs> That's how we are. You know, that's how I would be. I, I want to find out myself, you know, of, oh my gosh, that's so funny. But then you have some females like, I, if you was a friend, you know, you would have told me, you would, you know, why you didn't tell me that you saw this? And they get mad with you because you didn't tell them because you're trying to basically, you know, let her find out herself, which would probably be the best thing opposed to you coming and telling her because nine times out of 10, when you come and you tell your friend girl, uh, hey, uh, your, your man cheating on you, you know, we call, you know, you're like, okay. And you go and you approach him and you tell him everything and he tell you, no, that's not true. That was, you know, my cousin so and so. And guess what you do? You say, oh, well, you go back to your girlfriend and you say, oh, well, that was his cousin so and so and so. Am I right about it? Come on now. Y'all tell me, am I right or wrong? <laughs> Nine times out of 10, they say, oh, that was his cousin because you don't want to believe it. So that's why I say it's best that you just basically find out yourself. I mean, if they come and tell you, say, OK, all right, you know, process the information and do your own investigation. How about that? <laughs> uh, for guys, like I said, I think guys will believe, you know, if another guy come and tell them they they have no problems believing what, you know, another guy come and tell them about their uh, wives or girlfriends, you know, and they are quick to leave you break up and everything based on what, you know, they homeboy son came and told them or whatever. And you're looking like it wasn't even like that, you know. Uh, you can say, oh, well, that was my uncle or that was my cousin. Yeah. Well, who, what uncle, what cousin? I ain't never, you ain't never talked about them before. You know, that's, that's guys, you know, they don't want to hear it, but if it's them, it's a totally different story. Uh, so, you know, if you all agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to share, comment, and remember to love you.